How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be reviewing the ShineCon G05A headset so let's get right into it. Starting from the front we can see that it uses a simple clip mechanism for mounting your phone that is well padded on both ends, four rubber pads to keep your phone from sliding around along with a simple arrow centering guide right on top of here. Moving on to the top, we can see that it has full IPD and focus adjustments, something that you don't always see implemented on these small headsets, and on this one, it is actually very easy to access and adjust without any issues. Next, we have the strap mounting points that use the open design that we have seen fail multiple times before, where the strap would just simply slip out of the headset from regular use. But that is not the case here. As long as you're not intentionally pulling it to dismount it, you're fine. Speaking of the strap, it is actually pretty comfortable even though it uses buckles for mounting, which again we have seen fell before on the Unoton and the Mojin XD, since they only had one buckle for the sides. But on the other hand, in this headset we have three buckles, one for each side, and the advantage of using buckles over velcros in this case, there are absolutely no hard edges anywhere that dig in into the side of your head or occasionally into your ears. Speaking of ears, the strap sat very comfortably on top of my ears perfectly unlike other headsets. The benefit of that is not only it is comfortable, but it won't get irritating unlike some other headsets which allows you to comfortably put on your favorite pair of headphones or earbuds without any restrictions. Now without a good face pad and nose room, the strap would be worthless, so let's talk about that. The face bed here is nothing special, it just uses a sponge that is glued onto the headset itself, but despite the fact that it is cheap and non-replaceable, it actually does a really good job at keeping things nice and comfortable. And no, it does not support glasses, but personally as a glasses user, I was able to use them without any issues. Next up, we have the dreaded nose room. This is where most headsets fail, in the western market. Since most of them were made for the Asian market, the nose rooms end up being small and squishy. And guess what, on this one, it passes with flying colors. My average size nose sat very comfortably without feeling any restrictions whatsoever with the room to spare, where I was able to fit in my index finger in the leftover space between my nose and the headset itself. And finally, we have the lenses. Now, the lenses here are nice and sharp with very minimal distortion around the edges, but there is a reason for that. This thing has a field of view of about 80 degrees. It is kind of similar to the Bobo VR Z3, which was very memorable for its ultra-tack sharp lens. On my LG G4 phone that has a 1440p 5.5 inch display, everything was ultra-sharp and there was virtually almost no screen door effect whatsoever. Now I know that most people own phones with a screen size of 5.1 inches. And here I have also tested my Xiaomi Mi 5 phone that has a 1080p screen at 5.1 inches. And I can confirm that it does provide a very good experience that is almost as good as my G4 phone. Alright, that's all good, but what are the cons of this headset? Well, for starters, the face pad is glued onto the headset, but that's not a big of an issue. There are no capacitive touch buttons, but that's workable with a cheap Bluetooth remote, and almost all the headsets that do include it, they don't work half the time. But really, the only other main issue that I see is the strap itself. It will detach if there was a large amount of excessive force was applied. But on the other hand, with the regular use, it will stay intact just fine. And lastly, not being able to wear glasses, personally, that does not affect me, but it may affect some people. So the conclusion, how does everything come together? Well, I was actually very surprised on how good it was. It has almost all the features that makes a good Google Cardboard headset in my book. It certainly holds its own in comfort, lens clarity, and adjustments. Now, if you're the type of person looking for an immersive experience, now this may not be exactly for you, but if you are looking for a very comfortable, lightweight headset that provides you with almost everything you need in a well-combined package that only lacks a higher field of view, and a capacitive touch button maybe, then this thing might be just the thing for you. Now who do I really think will ultimately benefit from this thing? Well, people who want to watch movies or shows on the go, or even gaming, without having the usual bulk that some all-in-one headsets have, and especially, if you're a frequent traveler, you will definitely appreciate this headset for being lightweight and allowing you to pass your boredom on an electronic band flight. That's right, if you have not heard, airliners are starting to ban all electronic devices except for smartphones and medical devices such as pacemakers. So if you're the person who's looking for a solution to that ban and do not want to carry any large headsets, then this thing is definitely for you. And if you're still holding it back for a headset because you're also looking for an excuse to get a new phone or want a dedicated smartphone for VR, then the Xiaomi Mi 5 phone might be the perfect phone to go along with this headset, if you're looking to watch movies and do a bit of gaming as well. Since this thing has got the looks, a great display, processing power, and most importantly, being lightweight, which combined with this headset will provide you with a great experience, totaling at just under 300 grams. And that is pretty much it guys, this was a great headset that has surprised me and has proven itself to be worthy so good that I will give it my commando stand up approval, because it certainly beats many of the headsets that I have reviewed before. Oh, and this thing is $7. Yeah. All the links for these products will be in the video description if you guys are interested. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.